Hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So I just thought I would do a puzzle haul today. I've had these for a while, but I haven't actually gotten to doing it for a while, except for this one, which arrived only today. I'd been intending to do this for a while, but I just haven't been feeling up to it after my surgery and with the pain, which has finally diminished a bit. And I'm hoping after this last script that I've asked for that then I can sort of work my way off the heavy pain meds onto just Panadol, um, fingers crossed. It is looking like I'm getting a pressure sore on the bottom of my heel, um, <laughs> according to my physio and the home help people that I have. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to wait and find out what my surgeon wants me to do about that. But, yeah, um, so I just thought I would bring, on, bring you back with another puzzle haul today. So today I've got some Ravensburger some Clementoni and a Buffalo Games puzzle. So, um, yeah, I just thought I would do this finally. Like, I've been really wanting to do it for days, but just haven't been feeling well enough. And I'm still not feeling great today and just want to go back to sleep. But I thought, screw it, I'm just going to get it done because I really want to. And I love these puzzles and I love sharing them with you and I can't wait. So, the first thing that I've actually, first one that I'm actually going to show you is this Buffalo Games puzzle, a 2,000 piece, from their 2,000 piece collection called Tiger Lagoon. And I'm so excited for this one. I really, really love the jungle features of this one and the tigers. And yeah, I love everything about it, including the colours. I love that we've got these waterfall features and like, you can't exactly tell exactly what it is in the background, but it's some sort of stone or Mayan feature. And tigers, I'm not sure what this is, but you've got your tiger cubs, you've got your parrots and stuff and your jungle creatures your monkeys rainbow lorikeets i know those ones because they're straight in australia <laughs> you've got your like orchids and your hummingbird type things i guess and your butterflies and just yeah i really really love everything about this sorry my knees in the way a bit i'll try moving it over a little but yeah i just loved everything about this one with the colors and the the flowers and the tigers and the birds and yeah I obviously just had to grab it <laughs> so yeah I'm so excited for this and I'm so excited as I start to get better like I'm hoping once I get off the heavy pain meds I'll be able to do more of my puzzle stuff again and then slowly work towards other things like um a physio was telling me today that um she's aiming for about three months to try and have me off the crutches by so then hopefully after that I can get my hand and wrist better so yeah I guess we'll see hopefully that'll happen because it would be so nice to be able to work on getting this better and improved and yeah um, I guess we'll see hopefully that'll happen I guess we'll see it may take a little longer it may not but we'll see how that goes right now like, a lot of the ligament pains have settled. Like, I'm still getting some ligament pains, but a lot of the pain that I'm still getting is bone pain. So, yeah, I think that's just going to take till about the six-week mark to settle. It's about the five weeks today. So, yeah, um, it's good to know that at least the pain has started reducing in about the time frame that I was expecting it to, though. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so excited to add this one to my collection. As you know, I really love my puzzles and I've got quite a huge puzzle collection. I also forgot the last time when I was mentioning the puzzle sizes I had, I forgot that I actually have two 13,200 piece puzzles as well. So yeah, so um, yes, I think I'm going to be kept busy for a while. But yeah, um, basically... After this, it's basically just waiting for pre-order puzzles and stuff to come in. So, yeah, once they come in, then I'm just going to be focusing on doing what I've got kind of thing. And hopefully I'll be able to get back to that sooner than later. But it's going to be slow going, so I'm just going to have to take it one day at a time and see how things go as to how soon I'm able to get back to certain things or whatever. Like, the art and colouring is going to take a while because I'm going to have to get this improved and this a lot better and... All of that, the puzzles probably be sooner because there's something that I can kind of do now, even with the sore hand and wrist. So probably be doing that. But first I've got to get off the heavy pain meds to be able to try and do more because that's been really knocking me around. But 
yeah, it's goals anyway and things that I'm aiming for. So, yeah, I'm really hoping to... I've asked for a script which has been sent and I'm planning on reducing it from that script to just the Panadol. So, yeah, I'm hoping to go off the endone and anti-nausea stuff and that to just the Panadol and um, antihistamines is what I'm hoping to do, fingers crossed. But, yeah, I just wanted to do this puzzle haul anyway and I'll get back to it. I just wanted to update you a bit on that, so... Yeah, I'm glad that at least about the five-week mark it is starting to reduce a bit in pain. But, yeah, hopefully by the time I'm finished with these scripts, it'll probably be closer to about the seven-week mark. And so by the time it gets to about the seven-week mark, then I'll be hopefully a lot better and I'll be starting to transition to more of the Panadol over more of the Endone and be able to do more as a result because I won't be feeling so unwell from the Endone. But, yeah. But yeah, I just really love this puzzle and I just wanted to show you it. I was actually surprised. Like, I've actually, um, let me just sit you here for a minute. Sorry. Um, with this one at first, I thought, oh, maybe it's not the best quality. But the more I sort of looked at it, I realized, well, it is actually decent quality puzzle pieces. Like, um, you know, they are a bit shiny, but that doesn't really concern me kind of thing um but they actually don't look like they're badly cut or anything like that and like the cardboard actually looks decent and stuff like that apparently it's recycled cardboard and it also says I'll show you on the back in a minute and I'll be curious to try this out because I've got more buffalo puzzles coming which I really have been eyeing off for ages and I just decided sorry that's get rid of that I just decided after that that um, I would just take the chance and get the rest of the puzzles because the more I've looked at this puzzle over today, the more I've actually liked the features and aspects of it. So this one also comes with a poster, a few other 2,000-piece ones. I actually really like this one, but I couldn't see it, the Picket Celebration. It's actually really cool with the colours and stuff. We've got Viva Las Vegas Castle Dream, which I've kind of got that in a version from Clementoni, so I'm not going to get that one. But, yeah, I love that it comes with a poster. And also, um, on the back, it says it's got the perfect snap, so I'm guessing they do something like Ravensburger with the snap look features and stuff like that. So I'm actually very curious to try this one out, and I just decided... Because it was the last ones of the puzzles that I've been eyeing off for ages, I just decided to basically get them because it was like, well, I don't think that it doesn't look bad quality by any means. It looks actually quite decent. So I sort of decided to just take the chance and get them because here in Australia, Buffalo Puzzles isn't necessarily the readily available or the cheapest because obviously it's Australia. And some of the American puzzles are actually cost more here. But yeah, so I'm actually very happy with this. And I'll be interested to do some comparison. Um, what I'm intending on doing when I start back on the puzzles again. What I want to do, and I'm just going to get this lid on. What I really want to do is um, get back to sort of... When I get back to the puzzles, I want to try some diff try all the different brands and stuff and make notes on them so that I can do a comparison video for, like, cheaper puzzles, mid-range puzzles, and the more expensive puzzles. And I'm going to have to work out which are the mid-range, which are the more expensive, which are the cheaper range. But I think that's definitely doable, and I, I look forward to doing it and um, trying that and checking that out and doing that comparison. With Buffalo Puzzles, I haven't quite worked out because the price of this one, not counting shipping, was about $50 for a 2,000-piece, whereas a Raven's Wedge 2,000-piece is about $75, $85 here in Australia. So I'm not quite sure whether Buffalo is more of a mid-range puzzle compared to Raven's Wedge. So I'm, I'm just going to have to work those things out when the time comes kind of thing because I'm probably going to do, try and do comparisons of 
similar price puzzles in similar priced areas or ranges kind of thing and do some comparisons and just see how they compare to each other if some of the sort of the same quality sort of thing and all of that that sort of thing just because it's something that I'm interested to do obviously I'm not going to have every single type of puzzle brand out there I'm just going to be using what's sort of available to me here in Australia that I have gotten so far that's not necessarily I haven't got everything that's available to me here in Australia but I have I'll do, be doing basically doing what I've got to try with that so yeah it'll be good and as you know I enjoy I've kind of got a preference for Raven's Vedger but I will enjoy and do any puzzle that I love the image of it, even if it's a cheap brand if I love the image I'm still going to enjoy it so I will get any puzzle brand if it's an image I love and that I want to try so yeah I'm really looking forward to this one so it was up here and then these ones actually haven't had the plastic wrap even taken off them yet, which says how I wasn't feeling well because, as you all know, I usually have the plastic wrap off by now. Um, usually have it off the same day that I get the puzzles. But this is a Clementoni Jurassic World Impossible puzzle, and this was two for fifty dollars. And this was actually gotten when I was doing a respite weekend um, shortly after my surgery. And this is one with all the. Dr with different Jurassic World dinosaurs repeated so it's going to be quite a tricky one I think but I'm really looking forward to the challenge and I really love the Clementoni quality and as I said it was a two for fifty dollar deal at that point in time and it's 69 by 50 centimeters Jurassic World obviously copyrighted by Universe Studios but yeah I just I've been wanting this one for ages and eyeing it off for ages and I finally decided nope it's time to get it I really, really want it, and it's time to get it. And it's going to be a challenge, yes, but if I can do a colour-changing puzzle, I can do anything. So, yeah, a colour-changing puzzle is probably the hardest I've ever done in my life. And it's like a lot of people have said they wouldn't even attempt it that I know. And it's like, I actually, even though I found parts frustrating, I really enjoyed it at the same time. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this um impossible puzzle I don't know how impossible it'll be it's obviously able to be done but obviously it's a hard meant to be a hard one and yeah I'm looking forward to it then the final Clementoni one that I've actually got here is um this I think it's like Mickey's Gala or something like that but it's it's in a six thousand piece puzzle and it's also in a thousand piece puzzle and I just got the thousand piece variant here and I don't know all these characters, but I just, I love the image and I thought it was very cool. And I hope to learn more about these different characters when I get back to watching Disney Plus and get back to watching some of the Mickey shows and the Donald shows and all of that. It's going to be awesome to learn more about these characters. I know Alvin and Chip and Dale, is it? Either Chip and Dale or... Uh, might be Chip and Dale. I think it is the Chipmunks. I think it is, but Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie. I think Mickey and Minnie's kids. You've got um. I think they're Donald and Daisy's three kids, or Donald's three kids. I'm not sure which one is Donald and Daisy, but I'm guessing it's these ones. But I don't know all the characters, but. I'm hoping as I watch more Disney stuff and because I really love Disney and I'm hoping as I watch more Disney stuff, I'll get into this. I don't always buy Disney puzzles that are a bit too expensive or a bit out of my price range. I'll tend to more buy the Disney puzzles when they're of a decent price kind of thing. So I don't get all the Disney puzzles and as much as I love Disney, I don't know every Disney cartoon or every Disney character. But I'm hoping to learn more with time because I've never watched much of the the Mickey or Donald shows and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to getting to see more of those in the future as we go and find out more of these characters. It's going to be awesome because I really do love Disney. And I hope to one day be able to visit Disney World in Orlando. Really do. But yeah, so I'm really excited to have this and... $25 for this was really good price, saving of 
five dollars so yeah because this is the second one i got in the two for 50 and this is clementoni as well and then the last ones that i've got here i've actually got three that i got on clearance one that i didn't get on clearance and these were actually from my local australian target which typically has some puzzles but doesn't have raven's wedge puzzles available in it so i was surprised to find these there but it's awesome too and so these are on clearance for 20 three of these are on clearance for 20 dollars, and they're ones that i like but i didn't want to pay full price for and so when i saw them for 20 dollars, i just decided to take the chance and get them because they are ones that i've been looking at getting but i just decided to wait and see if i could find them on sale or special somewhere and i happened to find them here so i have got them now and i'm very happy to add these to my collection so the first one i've got here is from the puzzle highlights beautiful skyline series and this is um i think it's just paris yep paris and yeah just i guess it's very similar colors so it's probably going to be a challenge to do but I just really like the way this skyline and the features and that looked in this image. And it's really pretty. So, yeah, I, I obviously got it. And then the next one that I've got here is the second out of my $30 clearance ones. And this one is um, Mediterranean Malta. And what I loved about this one was the colours of the boats, the colour of the blue water, and then like the sandstone coloured buildings with the green building in the centre here. And the odd colours and the palms. And yeah, I just really love the colours on this one. And it's really, really pretty. And I'm just so happy to add it to my collection. And the final one that I've actually got here is um, from Beautiful Skylines 2. And this is Cape Town. I'm pretty certain from what my friend said, Cape Town is in South Africa. And I'm assuming this is just like an overview of the skyline and the city of Cape Town. And it's actually interesting because I don't know anything about Cape Town, but it seems like they've got like a sports ground and sports areas around here and then like the harbours and the houses. And I just like the watercolour as well. Like you can see some differences in the watercolours and... Yeah, I just really, really like this one and I've been looking at it and thinking about getting it at times, but I've never actually gotten it just because I sort of wasn't really sure that it was, it wasn't a top one on my list. Well, these three weren't top ones on my list, but they were ones that I knew that I would get if I came across them on clearance and I came across them on clearance. So, and that's a saving of about $35 usually or about $9 with the price of Target. So, yeah, I just had to take the chance and get them. <laughs> and the last one that I've got here is this Ravensburger puzzle by Hannah Carlson. And this is to do with the colouring stuff um, as well. And Hannah Carlson is a colouring book artist who also has created some puzzles with Ravensburger. This is the only one I've got of hers from Ravensburger um just because I found it at the at my target and I really loved it when I saw it in person I've kind of been holding off getting these ones because I wasn't sure even though I've got some of the coloring books and stuff I've just been holding off and when I saw it at target and it was really nice and it was about six dollars cheaper than usual I decided to jump in and get it so yeah um, I'm very happy to have it and I love the colors and yeah, it's just really, really gorgeous and beautiful. So, yeah, um, I'm very, very happy to have these puzzles. If you've enjoyed this bit of a puzzle haul, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. I really hope you enjoyed this and um, get to have fun. I hope to open these soon when I feel okay, but I'm probably just going to go to bed now rather than trying to open them. And yeah, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this puzzle haul anyway. And if you have, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. And there goes my brain not functioning properly with the meds in it. Because I just said that again. And yeah, I will see you later and respond as soon as I possibly can. Bye.